Okay, we're to the next step now. I've cleaned everything with alcohol and wiped everything off. Um, all these boards. So the next part is I'm going to seal them. Now, these boards are only, in all likelihood, just going to take one coat of seal. Um, and what I'm going to end up using for that just is the epoxy that I'm going to pour. So um, I'll roll it on right here. I'll stack everything up. However, this guy might take more than one coat of sealant, and just mainly because the the live edge is so porous that um, in order to avoid air bubbles I might have to do more than one coat and if I have to do more than one coat it's probably probable that I'll have to do about three coats so we'll play it by ear here as we go along you never quite can tell how things are gonna pan out another step I did was you gotta make sure everything is level even though I'm on this nice level scenes machine, it's not perfectly level. But um, I just take my little bullet level and make sure everything is good. And, and you can see here that it wasn't quite up to par. And you can see some shims. But we'll be back in a minute and I'll have some epoxy mixed up. You guys have seen that done already, so I'll make about 24 ounces, and then I'll show you how I put it on. Okay, we've been mixing for a couple minutes now. I'm making 24 ounces. Real easy, if you wanted to know. Uh, part A to the 5 on the 2 to 1 scale here. And then part B, go from 5 to the next 5, which is... So you start with 16 ounces, you're going to 24, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Really simple. And, uh, and this is the epoxy that I'm using. See you in a few minutes when I'm done. Okay, so we're all mixed up. Now I'll show you how it's all going to go back.
All right, so I just finished up the last little coating on top. And you can see in some spaces where it's you know, already drying up, and it'll be a lot more dry in the morning. But what we're waiting for is like a sticky setup, you know, and um, I probably should get rid of that brush, but you know. So it took pretty much all 24 ounces that I thought we might need. At first I didn't think we were going to need near as much as that, but we started off with some more dense and not so porous wood, so there is that. Come here. And tomorrow we'll start the, the big pours. Well, I say that. We're going to start with smaller, thinner pour on the bottom. That way we don't have to clamp everything down. And once that starts to set up, real simple like, we will order or add our deep pour. So, until tomorrow.